Hello guys, welcome back to one of the inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you how to fix DualSense controller touchpad not working. So if you're having problems with your DualSense controller and the touchpad is not working properly, there are a few things that you need to do or you need to check first. So first thing that you want to do is you want to check the controller connection. Now, in this case, you want to make sure that your controller is properly connected here. So if you're using a USB cable, ensure its security plug into both the controller and the console. Now, if you're using it wirelessly, try reconnecting it via Bluetooth by turning the controller off and back on. And in this case, a weak or unstable connection might cause the touchpad not, or in this case, to stop responding. Next thing that you want to check here is you want to check if your controller is dirty. So in this case, this is quite obvious. So sometimes dirt, dust, or smudges can interfere with the touchpad responsiveness. So to clean this, you want to use a clean dry cloth to gently wipe the touchpad. Now also avoid using excessive pressure here as this could damage the sensor. And if grime was causing the issue, this simple cleaning should restore the functionality or you should be able to start using the touchpad again. Now, if it's still not working, you could try resetting the controller here. So if the touchpad is still not working, the controller might need a reset. So in this case, the first thing that you want to do is you want to locate the small reset button on the back of the DualSense uh, controller. Now, you may need to use a paper clip or a pin or something similar to press and hold the button for about 5 seconds. Now, after resetting, reconnect the controller to the PS5 and check if the touchpad is not working. Now, in this case, um, if this does, still doesn't work, then most likely you may need to contact PlayStation support. So, sometimes the issue itself can be a hardware problem here. So, in this case, con uh, PlayStation support here can give you additional things that you could do. Or you can even request for a repair if, uh, if that's available for your device here. Or if you just new newly bought this or it's pretty new, you could go ahead and request a refund or a replacement of the controller itself. But in this case, that's about it. Hopefully this video is able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.